because I just think music is so powerful for people. Um, it can really kind of affect people's emotions in very different ways, and I think it's a very kind of unifying medium that can bring people together. So I just wanted to learn a lot more about how to deliver um, group work for people with mental health. The training happened at a really good moment for me because I was just about to apply for a job um, with a focus on music in healthcare settings. So it seemed like really timely training and a good chance to refresh some skills that I thought I had and to gain some new knowledge. I've really enjoyed doing lots of practical activities. Confidence, I think. Uh, confidence in thinking that I could actually be quite um, useful in, in, in running a work, music, music workshop. I think the exercise of actually like presenting kind of exercises for the group, um, imagining you know we had a group for, with people with mental health and kind of what type of musical exercises would work best to kind of make people feel safe and connected and to kind of hopefully give them a positive experience and kind of improve their confidence in lots of ways. And I think music's a very um, a good tool to kind of help do that, actually. So we've ended up with a really supportive group. Um, I've made lots of contacts and um, people that I'll keep in touch with. Um, and it's given me loads of ideas to take back into my work as well. Yes, definitely. I think it's given me probably a broader base, um, whereas previously I might have done everything vocally and now I think I'd use a mixture of different techniques. I think it's given me a very um, wide knowledge of how much, how easy it is to create music with very little things like your body. I think I can run groups right before I thought I could only run them an individual lesson. Yeah, thinking about how you can use music to really kind of improve people's mental health and well-being. Um, so yes, change my perspective just from learning from the whole group as well and kind of learning from different people's experiences. I think after the first um, two sessions, when I went back into my workplaces on the Wednesday, I consciously considered my approach from a standpoint of um, assertiveness and really encouraging the groups that I was working with to be very mindful of each other and, and listen differently and it had a markedly calming effect on the, the room to the point where colleagues were saying what is this training that you've just done and, and when can we do it um, and every time I've come to a different day there's been something I thought I'm gonna take that straight back to work or I can adapt that I, I think it's about um, evolving strategies that you already had in place and just looking again at your um, style and mindset as a practitioner and making space for for your own professional development and reflection and I think it's a really good course that I would definitely recommend to other practitioners.